Hello dear students, welcome back. In the last class we discussed about conventional symbols and different types of maps, isn't it? We discussed about relief maps, thematic maps and were there any other eyes? Ah, yes, political maps too, isn't it? So what was political maps? That shows the boundaries and outlines of a country, state, district, etc. These are political maps. Relief maps for showing physical features. What were physical features? Like mountains, rivers, sea, etc. These are the physical features of a place. So a map showing these features are called relief maps. Then thematic maps about a specific theme. For example, accidents in an area. Or the for nowadays it is hot spots, COVID hot spots in an area. Based on that we prepare, on the map we will show that hot spots. These are thematic maps. Based on some themes we will be preparing maps. So now we are going to discuss our last section atlas. What is an atlas? Already we discussed what is an atlas. Atlas is a book of maps. So atlas will provide acts maximum information within a small book maximum information will be provided by an atlas because it's the same book consists of different types of for example if it is about the india first map will be showing the boundaries of india the second map it shows the states and capitals in india so these are the political maps the third map maybe it is a relief map that shows the mountains in india or the rivers in india next one the plateaus in india deserts in india etc and the last one may be some vegetations in india that is the forest areas in india wildlife in india how many lands are found or lands are found in which area this will be shown in one map tigers are seen in these areas that will be shown by hot spots to those areas so such like that a map a book of maps provide us maximum information within a very minimum space but before we are reading or we are looking at an atlas we have to understand the symbols then directions and also the colors that are used in the maps we have basically four colors we already discussed these ones for planes, we generally give green color, that is the region in the sea level. For that things, we will be giving green color. Then brown, light brown or dark brown according to the height of the peak. Mountains, for mountains we are giving brown colors. Next, yellow for deserts and blue for the water bodies, maybe sea, ocean, etc. And in the case of directions, these are cardinal directions, north, south, east and west. So sometimes it will be telling that Ganga is east of this place. River Ganga is, re the river Ganga is east of some place. Or it is west of some place. Taj Mahal is the north of that place. So such like the directions will be, will be getting from map. So we have to clearly understand the cardinal directions. See here, we have north, south, east and west. Okay, so in between east and north, we have northeast, southeast, southwest and northwest directions. It's very easy. In between north and east, it will be northeast. In between south and east, it will be southeast. S from here and E from here, so southeast. N from here, E from here, northeast. Here N W gives northwest. South West gives southwest. S W gives us southwest. So these are the cardinal direction, and you know about the symbols, different symbols. Example for bridges, we use this symbol. And for peaks, we use a triangle symbol. So such like we have to understand symbols, colors and cardinal points, cardinal directions in order to understand a map clearly. So when we understood these things, Atlas is a book which provides us maximum information within very small space, very short space, it gives us maximum information. So that's all about our chapter. So in the next coming days, 
coming days we'll be having some revisions on the same chapter because I know this social science is uh, somewhat uh, not confusing but compared to other chapters as like in the case of EVS is somewhat little little confusing topics are there so we'll be taking one more time on the revision basis not by video class but we'll be giving you some audio recordings so you can understand the chapter more clearly I know it's not difficult for you it's very easy chapter but if you have any confusion we have to clear that that's why we'll be giving some recordings on the coming classes to understand this section very clearly okay hope you understood today's class it was very easy only telling about atlas what is atlas is a group of map or a book of maps so in order to understand an atlas we have to know clearly the cardinal directions symbols and the colors that are used in the map so thank you have a nice day